Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A web browser is a software application used to make navigating the internet easy for the user by providing a graphical user interface so that the user can click menus, icons, or buttons rather than learning difficult computer commands. It's also called a web client because the browser application resides on the client computer or the computer of the individual using it rather than residing on a remote web server. Internet Explorer is a web browser made by Microsoft that allows the user to view web pages when they are connected to the Internet. Internet Explorer is installed on most computers with a Windows operating system. You can easily identify the browser by its icon. Internet Explorer's icon is a large blue E. You will see a button for it appear in your taskbar within the desktop app in Windows 8.1. To open the desktop version of Internet Explorer 11 in Windows 8.1, click that button within the taskbar. When the browser window opens, you will find the window to be similar to many of the other windows that you have opened. There's a title bar at the very top of the window that contains the three buttons you can use to minimize, maximize, and close the browser window located at the far right end. At the far left end are the back and forward navigation buttons that allow you to move back and forward through the web pages that you have visited. The large white text box to the right of those two buttons is called the address bar. This bar displays the web page address of the web page currently displayed on your screen. You can type the address of any page you want to view here and then click the Go To button, which is displayed as an arrow button at the end of the address bar. Or you can press the Enter key on your keyboard to go to the web page address that you have entered. The web page will then be displayed within the tab that appears to the right of the address bar. In the center of the window is where you will view the content of the web page. Often you will see scroll bars that appear at the right and bottom of this area that allow you to scroll through the web page to see the entirety of the web page. While you may enter web page addresses into the address bar to visit websites you are familiar with, you may also need to search the web for web pages that may contain content for which you are searching. To do this in Internet Explorer 11, which comes with Windows 8.1, simply type the words or phrases for which you want to find matching web pages directly into the address bar. Then click the Go To button or press the Enter key on your keyboard to display a search results web page that shows hyperlinks of web pages that may contain content related to the terms for which you searched. You can click these hyperlinks to view the web pages within your web browser. As you move from page to page, you can then use the back and forward buttons in the upper left corner of the window to move back to the results of the web search. You can also right-click a web page tab that's shown at the top of the window and then choose the New Tab command from the pop-up menu that appears to open a new web page on a separate tab within Internet Explorer 11. You can then click between the open tabbed windows within the web browser window so that you can easily keep information from multiple web pages in view. You can close any tabbed page within the program by clicking the small X button at the right end of the tab shown. If you are trying to find specific text within a web page displayed in Internet Explorer, you can click the Tools button. This is the button that looks like a cog and is displayed in the upper right corner of the window. After clicking this button, roll down to the File command in the drop-down menu that appears, 
and then click the Find on this page command in the side menu that appears. Doing that will open a find bar at the top of the window below the address bar where you can enter the text to find on the page into the find text box. You can then use the previous and next buttons to jump to the different occurrences of that text within the page. You can then click the X button that appears at the left end of the find bar to close it when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.